Welcome back on this Tuesday. Well, it's been kind of a rocky day for some people, especially to the north and east of the News 10 viewing area, where now we have a flash flood warning in effect for those of you in Clay and Owen and Putnam counties. That's until 6 o'clock tonight. And then for uh, Monroe County until 730 because rain continues to fall. Of course, up around Indianapolis, a developing story. And that has to do with the fact that most likely a tornado touched down at least at a portion uh, at that area from around Fishers and that region and through there. And so we'll continue to gather information about that and let you know. I do know there was damage, but I don't have any reports of injuries or things like that. Well, let's take a look here at the uh, Storm Team 10 Storm Tracker. Now we have a line of thunder showers down in here through Crawford County down into uh, Richland County and also now edging into a portion of Lawrence County. Now this has not been uh, identified as being severe, but it does have the potential to produce some heavy amounts of rain. So there is heavy rain involved in this area of stormy weather. And so we'll continue to monitor that for you. And also some stormy weather up here in Coles County and a little bit farther to the north. In the meantime, we have a look at the clouds and the radar and you can see how farther out to the west. See, there's a little bit of clearing because finally that weak front that I've been talking about is edging its way through, but it's still lingering just with some scattered showers and a few thunder showers. Those will stick around for the next few hours, but gradually taper off as we get into the nighttime. 76 right now, so it's risen a degree over the past hour. Casey has 79, Robinson 78, uh, Paris has 77, and Vincennes has 78 degrees. Not much of a wind, it's very still out there, so not much of a breeze at all. Wind from the northwest in Mattoon at 7. Elsewhere, there's hardly a breeze to be found except in Vincennes where we have a west wind at 7 miles per hour. A look at the future cast picking it up at 6 o'clock tonight takes us through the nighttime and into the day tomorrow. And here's tomorrow afternoon at about 2 o'clock, maybe a pop-up shower, a thunder shower. Looks as though to me that we'll have more sunshine than a chance of rain tomorrow. But even at 4 o'clock in the afternoon, we'll have little pockets where there is the possibility of maybe some storms developing. In the meantime, storms ending tonight, some areas of fog not out of the question. 67 for the overnight low, partly cloudy, some isolated afternoon storms tomorrow, a high of 85, and then partly cloudy, a light breeze tomorrow night down to 66 for the overnight low. Well, just a, only about a 20% chance of rain tomorrow, Susie, so there you'll get a little sunshine. But then we back in, uh, get back into Thursday. A high of 82, but a 40% chance of rain, maybe a 50% chance of rain on Friday, a high of 83. Saturday and Sunday, a little bit warmer, but still a chance of rain. We may dry out, but then we'll warm up as we get into the first part of next week.